After two years of using AI tools every single day, I realized how much time I was wasting with inefficient approaches. Small changes can actually make a massive difference in the real world, and so to save you hundreds of hours of trial and error, here are 17 game changer AI hacks that completely changed my workflow. Now, if you're a beginner or an advanced user, it doesn't really matter. These are things that I wish I knew from the beginning. Hack number one. Now, this is a meta hack that is obvious in retrospect. You know what's better than using AI? Using AI to help you use AI. For example, I used to spend too much time trying to craft perfect prompts to get the results I wanted. But then I realized, why not just ask AI to do it for me? Now, whenever I need to create a complex prompt, I'll ask ChatGPT, create an optimized prompt for me for task. Then AI will create a prompt, and then I just plug in from there. So hack number one is use AI to create prompts for you. This is GigaJuice, and it took me way too long to figure this out. Hack number two. The quality of AI outputs is directly related to the information that you provide it. Generic prompts get generic results, but specific data-rich prompts will get mind-blowing results. So think of ways that you can quickly and effectively enhance your prompts. For example, when writing YouTube scripts, I use youtubetranscript.com to pull entire transcripts of videos that I really like. For emails, I'll pull my entire email history so I can have AI write with my tone. I do this by going to Google Takeout and exporting all of my emails. The more personalized and curated the data that you can provide AI, the closer the results will be to the actual output that you want. But the quicker you can do this, the more likely you're gonna actually do it. That's why hack two is find smart ways to pull in information to enhance your prompts. Before the next hack, I can't harp on this enough. Like, even if you don't have the data today, you can actually create the data that you want it to model. For example, this video is a little bit different than my other one, so my past history didn't really work. So instead of just not using AI, I wrote the first couple of hacks in the style I wanted, and then it was able to help with the rest. All right, hack 2.5, bonus hack. ChatGPT made me do it. They just launched one of the craziest features I've ever seen and I had to pull out my iPhone. It's all about image generation and this is transforming the entire graphic design industry and there are hundreds of AI startups that have to reevaluate their business model. Basically what it allows you to do is take a product image, tell it what you want and then it'll generate another product image with that embedded. Now you can use this with photos, with people, with products and it's going to impact hundreds of thousands of people. Now, the hack that I'm explaining here is there are a lot of people that were one feature away from being obsolete. So what you wanna do is continue to learn skill sets so that you are never one feature away from being unemployed. So what that means is you have to stay ahead of the curve, learn skills, and continue to progress. So hack number 2.5, never be one feature away from being unemployed. This is a crazy feature. I really recommend you go use it, but this is something to keep in mind that things are moving quick, ladies and gentlemen. I had to pull the damn iPhone out. Let's go to hack number three. Hack number three. The biggest difference between search and chat-based responses is the ability to personalize the response. If you're trying to solve a problem and you Google it, you'll get answers. But the difference with AI is that you can provide context so that the answer is exactly what you're looking for. Now, this may be obvious to you, but think about it again. When you've used AI and you're trying to solve a problem, have you told it what you've tried, what tools you're currently using, what's your budget for the solution, what you want to or don't want to do? Adding this stuff in makes the difference. It's like working with a consultant and just not telling them anything. And you're like, hey, what's the solution? It's not going to be the solution that you really need or the best one. And that's why hack number three is the power of AI is its hyper personalized responses. Hack four, most people stick to the same AI tool, call it ChatGPT, but some tools are better than others. And the magic happens when you stack these tools into something that's perfect for you. For example, my chat based stack is ChatGPT is that's for general use. Claude, I use for writing and programming. Perplexity, I use for more real time search. And Grok, I use for chat based conversations. And now this may change over time. Now, of course, you don't want to use too many tools because then it becomes more complex. So I always tell people to bias towards less, not more. And that's why hack four is layer AI tools for what you need and know your AI stack. Hack five, Elon Musk has a famous strategy I've adopted in my businesses. Whether it was building my first million dollar agency or now as a COO of an eight figure tech startup, before automating anything, you have to ask yourself, should this process even exist? AI is very exciting and I just want to find uses for it because I just love this stuff. But remember why we're using it most of the times. It's usually to automate, improve the process or improve the final result. But the best way to enhance a process or make it more efficient is to delete it or remove it entirely. And that's why hack number 
number five is delete before automating. Elon actually has a five-step process that is hyper valuable that I think everyone should know. And I actually made a video on it. Uh, you can check the description for that link or just go check out my channel. Hack number six. This is one of the best forcing functions to leverage AI today. And that hack is make ChatGPT your default search engine. This will trick you into using AI. You'll go, you'll type into the search prompt, and then it'll use AI instead of Googling it. Initially, you'll be like, I didn't want to use AI for that, but then you'll get an answer and you're like, oh, that was pretty good. Then you'll use it the rest of the day. And sure, there'll be some times where you're like, I just want to Google something. And you'll actually have to type in google.com. That means it's working. I use ChatGPT search. You can add a plugin. It's really easy. But this is one of the best forcing functions to get you to use AI. Hack seven. Sometimes I'll have people send me emails or send me messages and I'm just like, did AI write this? And they're like, yeah, how did you know? Don't be this person. If you're having AI do something for you, make sure it sounds like you. The goal isn't to replace your voice, it's to augment it. And the second people think you're using AI, it's just not a good look. And that's why hack seven is make sure people can't tell you're using AI it's a bad look. The best way to do this, let's say you're writing something, is have it draft the email and then make sure to go in and tweak it with your own voice. Hack number eight. Imagine you're in a brainstorming session and any idea is welcome. You're just trying to figure something out. Now picture instead of it being you and your coworker or your friend, it's a AI tool that can generate infinite ideas in seconds. And now these ideas can serve as a springboard for further conversation. Now the truth is AI is the best brainstorming tool that has ever existed in human history. And it's not just about brainstorming ideas for complex topics. It can brainstorm solutions to a problem. It can brainstorm ways to email. It can brainstorm negotiation strategies. It can brainstorm new business ideas. You'll be amazed at how just having AI create a list of 10 different ideas can get your brain thinking. So hack eight is AI is the best brainstorming tool on the planet. Hack nine. Now, automation isn't something new. In fact, Zapier has been around for years. I've been trying to automate things my entire life. So this may be self-explanatory, but some of these tools are still very valuable. If you've never used Zapier, it's a workflow tool that allows you to do one thing after the other and put different processes together. For example, in the description below, I have a link to free resources. If you click that, you go to a form, you'll provide your email, and then I'll send you the resources. This is all powered through Zapier. Nothing to do with AI. And this is something most people forget. And this is why hack number nine is don't forget traditional automation tools. You don't need to use AI for everything. Sorry. Hack number 10. There's a joke in tech when you're seeing a new AI product that it's just a chat GPT wrapper. And what this means is it's just a website that uses chat GPT in the back end. And there's a lot of truth to it. But what I've found is for a lot of these tools, it's just easier and better if I write the prompt to myself. Going back to your AI stack, generally the simpler, the better. And I don't want a hundred different tools for a hundred different things if it's not really that much better than if I just do it myself. So before integrating a new tool, remember this hack. Hack 10 is a lot of AI tools aren't as effective as just making your own prompt. This will save you time and money. Hack 11, financial tasks and analysis can often take a lot of mental energy and people neglect or don't even think about using AI for it. I'm here to tell you, you should. And every year when I have to categorize my expenses from the past year for my businesses, I use AI to help me with it. Also, I leverage it for ways that I can save money, uh, budgeting, looking at my expenses, places that I can cut back spending, and it's really helpful. That's why hack number 11 is use AI for your taxes or to help save money. Of course, consult a tax professional. Uh, and if you don't have one and you're looking for one, my dad runs an accounting firm. And if you check the link in the description, he'll give you a free consultation call. Uh, he didn't pay me for this, but he did raise me. So click that link and You'll have a conversation with him and maybe it's a good fit. Hack 12. I'm constantly inspired by people around me. That's the truth. And I've created an environment that allows me to be inspired by how other people use AI. Social media has a ton of influencers that you can watch valuable content from. But one of the things that most people don't do is they don't look at other people's prompts. There's a tool called Snack Prompts that I absolutely love to get inspired to see how people are using AI. It has a ton of different prompts you can see for like fitness, for accounting, for idea generation. Just get your brain going. And hack 12 is get inspired by others. Look at how they use AI. Hack 13. Now this sounds obvious, but most people don't do it. Imagine creating a new recipe for sauce every time you make pasta. Man, I must have been hungry when I was scripting this thing. But you would never do this. You would have your recipe and you would tweak it over time so it got perfected. 
The same goes for AI prompts that you're using. You need to be kind to future you, and if you anticipate doing this in the future, save the prompt that you ended up using for that specific task. These are your recipes, and you'll tweak them over time, and they'll improve. So hack 13 is save the prompts that work and build off of them. Each time you do a task, tweak it, make it better, and that's where the magic happens. Hack 14. Your nutrition is probably the most important aspect of your life and also the most personalized. You can be amazed about the advice you can get from AI and using it as your own personal assistant. I'm marathon training. I want to get a 250, which is like a 630 a mile for the 26.2 miles. And I'm kind of just winging it and I'll often want to gauge how I'm doing. So I'll send it screenshots of my workouts, see where I can improve, things I can change. And the results are pretty crazy. And so it's hyper personalized. And for physical nutrition, this is key. And that's why there's so many personal trainers and nutritionists out there. But AI can be that. So hack 14 is use AI to help with your nutrition. It can also make you recipes based on what you have in the fridge. Hack 15, not everything has to be this productivity gain, this super serious thing, optimizing your life. Chill, bro, just chill. Make something fun. I love Mac Miller and I wanted to remake a John Mayer song with Mac Miller's voice. In fact, check out this video. I recreated a John Mayer song using Mac Miller's voice and here's how you can do it too. I'm the boy and you the phone. Now, this is something I wanted to create because it was a fun way for me to learn about 11 laps. It got me to do it. It got me to learn it. And it was a fun project. So hack 15 is have fun using these tools. Creativity and play will often lead to the most valuable breakthroughs. Hack 16. The AI landscape can be overwhelming sometimes. Hundreds of new tools launch daily, weekly. Oh, relax. Don't try and keep up with everything yourself. There are a bunch of aggregate resources for you. And for example, I have a link to a Notion resource that has a ton of different tools, what they cost, what they're used for. And this can be an aggregate resource to help you stay up to date. If you want that, click the link in the description. That'll use the Zapier flow I mentioned before. So hack 16 is use aggregate resources so you don't feel overwhelmed. Hack 17, image generation and video generation may not be perfect, but they're still super valuable. For example, Travis Scott used AI image generation to help create the direction for one of his recent ads. He didn't use it for the final product, but it helped with creative directing. Think of using these tools like that. Even if it won't create your final product, it can help with the idea generation process. Now, this is currently something that's optional, but I fully expect in the future that if you're in a creative space, you're going to have to use AI tools to quickly get to a visualization of what you're trying to create. And that's why hack number 17 is use AI for creative direction and to inspire you. Now, if you like this video, make sure to click this video and continue your momentum. You're going to love it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Let's get it.